you notice I have the cover still on it. I just had to trim it down a little bit in the front. I also have the stock Rossi sway bar on it and it clears it. I trimmed this one a little bit too close than I should have. The next one will be a little prettier. You see it was on a slight angle. Just a slight angle which was able to give me the one mount up there and two mounts in the back there. Here for the front, for the front washer, I just used a three millimeter nut and the stock screw that came with the servo in the kit. And here I used the stock servo mount from the, the twin stock uh, little servos I had in it. I just used this mount there as it was a perfect size spacer for it. And also. This is in the front location where it mounts, and the shock tower plate there, and also here is the end of the chassis. I just took the screw out, put a longer screw in. Uh, to mount the servo, I use the rubber mounts that come with the servos, and uh, some three millimeter shafts, stock ahead coming up from the bottom, uh, nylon washers on top, or nylon uh, lock nuts on top, and as you see, there's clearance between the shock tower clearance between the flywheel cover. Flipping it around. Just use a Kimbaro servo saber. That's a standard high tech 24 or 26 flying servo uh, saber. Uh, you still use the stock turnbuckles. Just had to extend the rods. And they are extended pretty long now. And it has three mounting holes here. On the Kimbaro Saver, I use the middle ones, which seem to work out the best. The, outer, the ones here in the back that I use first uh, cause it to bump a little bit on the chassis here. And I trimmed this plate out here, and if you notice, I could have made it a little cleaner cut uh, if I would have thought about the cover and had it sealed off there. In the front here, I just cut it off flat. So we still had that metal brace across the chassis to strengthen it. I didn't want to lose the integrity of the strength of it. Flipping it around again. Same thing here. I didn't want to lose any strength in the chassis. So I actually have four more mounts now with the plate. So if anything, it's stronger now. Uh, Steering-wise, chassis-wise. So it's ready to bash.